The New York Mets finally aren't run by a bunch of clowns. They don't suck. I have to be creative in my writing now. I have to speak praise to the team thriving despite ungodly amounts of injuries. I have to acknowledge the impressive pitchers they have on display, both the proven and the revived. They just need a few and the memes will finally die. And I will cry like a little girl when it happens. They said I was dead. They put four bullets in the back of my head and called it a suicide. They thought I was lying at the bottom of the Atlantic. The bastards failed to realize one thing. You can't kill ideas. Did you miss me, Mets fans? You thought the laughs were over. You thought this was going to be a new era. One without shame or indecency. You believed things were going to be hopeful this time around. What don't you understand? This is far more than an ownership change. Lol, Mets is eternal. The joy it brings to millions will never die. Like a fine scotch, it only gets better with age. It's the dragon you cannot slay. The demon you cannot contain. The superstar talent you cannot buy. That is what Mets baseball is all about. It was there for the taking. An NL East running itself over with an 18-wheeler. An owner refusing to clip coupons. A team that survived a massive injury wave. The Oysters are playoff baseball returning to City Field. Little did you fools know that those ambitions snuck out and took a flight down south from LaGuardia. The only flushing happening right now are the gigantic shits this team's taking on the field. Baseball may wish to evolve, but the Mets give us a pastime for the ages. Meet the men on this journey yourself. Joanna Cespedes. Dad gone. The Golden God Robinson Cano. Peter Alonso. <gasps> Jeff McNeil, James McCann, Luis Guillaume, J.D. Davis, Dominic Smith, Brendan Nemo, Michael Conforto, Albert Almora Jr., Cameron Mabin, R. Watch the shitty pirates. Jacob DeGrom. I won Walker! Tyler McGill! David Peterson! You look lost! Cookie Carrasco! Drew Smith! Robert Gesellman! Joey Lucchese! Brad Hand! John Reed Foley! Jared Eikhoff! Yuris Familia! Trevor May. Brother, this guy stinks! Seth Lugo. Miguel Castro. I knew I was fucked. And who could forget about the closing might of Ed Luz Diaz? And there's so much more. Let me regale you in the tale of the franchise face Francisco Lindor. He got the big bucks he desired after escaping from the desolate hell of Cleveland. But it hasn't gone the way anyone's wanted. No, Lindor, they're not booing you for sucking at the plate. They're saying boost your production or else they'll keep booing. This isn't the age of coupon, don't you know? It doesn't matter if his defensive metrics justify his contract. The fans want offense and dingers. Just like Javi Baez does. He's going to win the hearts of the people with free swinging mayhem and thumbs down for fans when they make a big play. A truly fantastical showing of support. If you're lucky, he won't lose his jewelry on a walk-off hit, forcing the ground screw to comb the desert of home plate for it. A free-falling offense and pitching staff on crutches needs more than the heads of the hitting coaches. It requires an appearance from Daddy Steve. Like his hedge funds, he boasted of a big game only to make the same damn mistakes that the Wilpons made. Bet your employees? Heavens no! A perfect reason to have Jared Porter engage in the sensual art of exposing his probable three intro to unsuspecting women. You couldn't possibly met any better than he did. And his replacement likes to fall asleep at the wheel while drunk. Good thing it was after a team event. You too would wish you were blackout drunk after the second half of this season. In retaliation, Cohen needs to unleash the greatest weapon in his arsenal. Bitching like Joe from Staten Island about the players on Twitter. Who knows how he's going to react to this hilarious turn of events. Perhaps we'll get a cameo appearance of a machete lopping off heads to replace the outfield apple. It'll be as hostile as Melvin Capital's failed sinking of GameStop. Tune in next week when he realizes Sandy Alderson isn't in a 1,000-year slumber and fires him for once. 
Think of the joys they can have with the 2005 glory of Billy Bean at the helm. It's just like Unbreakable. There's no stopping this train wreck. You wish that things could be different. Perhaps a hot wife by your side, kids that aren't useless brats, a new car, and all debts paid off, but then you remember, reality is full of horseshit. You're used to having your expectations crushed. Think of it like watching New York City go to shit. Your mayor's a clown in the baseball and Queens follow suit. Those people fleeing the city en masse? They're escaping the wrath of the Mets! Even the Knicks can exceed expectations. It's a fair 